Winter gloves. Alright. Let's go see if there's anything in here. Pry it open. Hey there, zombies. Yep, there's a few zombies in there. <laughs> there is a whole lot of zombies in there. Um, let's close the door. Grab the chair. Alright, come get some zombies. I'm gonna kill me some zombies. A little bit of torso damage I'm not happy with, but these are all standard zombies. I think I can kill them all pretty easily. Um, let's actually drop... Let's drop the backpack temporarily. Get my torso encumbrance down a bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to do my arms enough without dropping something I pretty much want. Um, no, we're going to try it just like this. Oh, they destroyed the chair, you little bastard. <laughs> you were supposed to stand on that. Oh, he came down to help. Cool. Ooh, you got a gun. What are you, what are you using? M1 Garand. Works for me. As long as I can... that ah, that's not good. Um, I needed or I wanted a one by one, not this. Yeah. Ah, we got a head. Head bite. I think he's killing more than I am. Good job, mm. Lauren. <laughs> now nah, there's no reason to lead them through the refugee center. <laughs> I've got enough uh, medical gear and such. I wasn't too worried about this fight since there weren't any specialized zombies. Uh, screwdriver set, sort that. Uh, all. All right, hold on. Grab my backpack and wear it. Grab everything again. All right, now sort by category. So, yep, more shotgun ammo. Grab the cash cards. Don't care. I think I need a sewing kit though. Another backpack. Don't care about any of that. Soda, candy, and a lot of body parts, which he should pulp. Or not. Alright, a bunch of clothing. Don't care about any of that. I uh, should have taken the quest to clear this first. I'm not sure what happens when you do it in reverse order. <laughs> I guess if I was going to do the quest line, that should have been my first action. Did you pulp everything? You have not. Well, he's standing where I think more stuff is to pulp. And I don't think I can push him. Or her. Oh. Hmm. Well, hopefully she does her job and pulps that thing. Quest giver. Alright. So yeah, I probably should have taken the quest first. Um, 1500. Hit points are decent. Got the head infection. Do we cauterize? I think we do. Let's try to cauterize our head wound. Cauterize head. Succeeded. Lots of pain. I still don't have any aspirin. <clears throat> Let's trade. Eh, fine. Modern Rifleman book. I don't think I can carry it. Oh, I guess I can, just barely. Hey there, Representative. Um, do you need anything? Tell me about it. 
Oh, this is the bandit one. No thanks. Bye. <laughs> Not after what happened to me last time I tried that. Who's shooting? That idiot in the back, Lauren? Merchant. Um, trade. Alright. Damn, 189 for the lighter, huh? Gas mask. Flamethrower. Crowbar. Lots of good stuff. Lots of expensive stuff. This is where I need to go pull all those guns out of the uh, those two gunsmith basements. Hmm. Good to know. I do anything for the center. Tell me about it. Uh, clearing out the back bay. I'll do it. Not a problem. Okay. About that job. Oh, I think it's spawned now, so not yet. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll go back and check one more time. <laughs> uh, somebody's fighting here pretty, pretty close. Let's quick save. Whoa! Hello, guys! Um, alright. Let's go help the dude out. Ah, they're destroying stuff! Hmm. Alright. Come at me in here. Whoa! Um, okay, if you're gonna drop grenades... <laughs> I'd rather not be in the area, thanks. The hell was that? Hope he doesn't have any more. Ah, he's gonna poison the corridor. Ah, I got poisoned. Damn it. He is well and truly surrounded. He's gonna pull a Gorman. I'd go up and help if it wasn't for the poison. I don't want to go up there in the heavy poison. He's probably going to die. Damn poison's going to take... Okay, I think he's dead now. Damn poison's going to take forever. Um, alright. Let's bring these guys down this way. Okay, keep me out of the line of fire. Dudes are just running for it. Whoops. Anybody want to explain to me what that was? What the hell was that? I have never seen that any time in Cataclysm. Well, I'm about to Alt F4 and drop it out, because I don't understand what that was. Was that an NPC dropping a grenade? Is that what happened? Um, no, I don't think... If anything, it was the NPC throwing a grenade or leaving a grenade or something. That's the only thing that makes sense to me, is that he had a grenade that he threw right at my feet. Oh no, there was no nade zombie here. <laughs> it was just standard zombies, no problem whatsoever. All the explosions were the NPCs. I'm just not sure I'm willing to put up with that kind of crap. That's why I don't play with NPCs. Down it goes. Now... It wasn't a combat log or anything goofy like that. It was definitely it was definitely an NPC grenade. Going off literally right at my feet. So 
Lesson learned. I'm not going to put up with that kind of nonsense. Um, yeah, we're just going to get out of here. Uh, okay. You guys have fun. I'm not ending a run because of stupid NPCs. Look at all these zombies out here. <laughs> Piled up in the bus. Hey, they left rollerblades. I gotta go get those. Fitted rollerblades. <laughs> Alright, just got my jeans destroyed. And that caused me to drop my M4. What's gonna go? Really like to get a chance to read my modern rifleman. I think that might allow me to actually install my mods. <laughs> Um, let's eat and drink the coconut milk. And I really have not much in the way of hydration. That's still a big problem. Not quite enough still. You guys done in there? Do I care? I don't care. I don't like NPCs anymore. Well, I, I never really liked NPCs. <laughs> but my supposed safe spot's not so safe if they're going to be dropping grenades all over the place. And multiple of them have grenades. That's what surprised me more than anything. So, what are we going to do? Let's keep moving. Got an operational bus that those guys are all crowding into. Has wheels, no seat. Alright, so they're gonna come pouring out of there. Um, big old crowd even further. Yeah, this place is gonna be non-habitable pretty quick. There's a lot of zombies kinda diving into this place. I still don't have a place to... Uh, no, I have no base of any kind. We've been on the move the entire time. <laughs> I mean, we're on day two. We started in the forest right about here. A bunker and a bunker was the only things we could see other than the very edge of the ranch. So we came down, ran across the grasslands here, into the ranch, found a couple of minor items but had to take off. Completely looted out this town, took off. Completely looted out this town, took off. <laughs> and that's where we ran into some vehicle problems. And we've worked our way up that way, worked our way up this way. I've been trying to get away from this fungal tower. So fungals have been, this entire area has been full of fungals. So I've got to clear the area. So that's what we've been doing. So I'm just trying to push further north so I just don't have to deal with them. Find a new area. But we're sitting at 14.9 out of 15.25 inventory. So I can't pick much up and I'm having to make tough choices. Um, I thought the refugee center would be helpful, but there's too many zombies in the area. And the NPCs are more dangerous than the damn zombies are. So, I gotta find another vehicle. Again. What time is it? 15.30. Now I'm a uh, zombie necromancer. Now I'm missing the... Uh, little cleared house that I had, my little pantry. <laughs> Fire truck. It's got wheels, it's got gas, it's got battery, it has no controls. Of course it has no controls. Alright. <laughs> Shopping carts having a problem, is it? Um, no wheels. Road rollers are always fun. 
Uh oh, 1% battery. I doubt I'd get it started, and it's got a security system. Acid zombie. Alright, where do I need to go? House over here. Then. Can't make use of the library, because I can't carry anything. Basically, I'm just going to have to keep rolling north. I am going to try to... Oh, never mind. So that turret's definitely out of ammo. That one over there looks like it might still have some. Um, hmm. Is it worth trying to get to that house? I think I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it by going out the window over here. Drink. Let's drink the drink. Pale ale and dehydrated veggies. Barely grab the veggies. Cooking on a budget. More books I don't have room to carry. Skeleton. Disinfectant. I gotta make room for disinfectant. Alright, Modern Rifleman's going to have to go, much as I would love it. Still just over. Darg! This rate, I'm never going to get these mods on because I can't sit still long enough to use my guns to get the skill up or read the books that I keep finding. This non-stop running is going to get uh, difficult. Yeah, the fungus is pretty... I'm not a big fan. I turned it back on for this series and I don't know. I'm already regretting it. <laughs> I've had them off for a while. I figured I'd just deal with it. But... Uh, it's kind of ruined a couple of potentially pretty good spots for me already, so given the difficulty this character's already got trying to solve the issues. What am I going to drop? I guess I'm going to drop some food item. Um, sort by volume again. What's the first food item? MRE I'm going to keep. That's way too useful. Half syrup and orange juice. I think it's going to be the vegetables. Alright, let's get back out of here. Nothing useful in here. Alright. Oh, they won't stop trying to bang on that thing. They're not going to kill it. Done. Don't really care. Sporting goods and sporting goods. Come on, give me some dojos. I want a martial arts skill. Oh, nothing on this block. Doctor's office. Alright, I have to go to the doctor's office. I won't be able to... I don't have a stethoscope, so I won't be able to crack the safes. But I might be able to get anesthesia kits, which, again, I can't carry. <laughs> But that's another thing I have to have in order to uh, have any chance of moving this thing forward. Antique store might be worth visiting. One more house, another house. Alright, I'm going to work my way over to that doctor's office next. Yep, I usually find them in doctor's offices and ambulances. Hospitals are almost guaranteed, but that's kind of a mid-game. You don't usually get into a hospital super early. Uh, I'd love to get that Humvee working. Um, gonna have to go check that Humvee out. No wheels. Damn it! It's got gas, it's got battery, it's got everything else, but no wheels. Game keeps teasing me. Oh, now I've got a car that might actually run, and i got a bunch of stuff chasing me. 
3% battery, is that enough? What is my morale still? Oh, look, 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 look! It's only 99 now! <laughs> only 99! Uh, no ammo in the turrets. Yeah, but I think I'm likely to find a better vehicle. So I'm going to leave it alone. Let them bang on it. Hopefully I don't step around a corner into a shock or brood or anything really obnoxious. Shocker! Oh, triple shocker! It's the triple shocker threat! That's obnoxious! <laughs> uh, no way am I going to get into the doctor's office being chased by triple shockers. So... That's annoying. I mentioned not running into something obnoxious and they throw triple shocker brute or triple shocker zombies in front of me. Uh, nice little cart looking in here. Casters are gone. Oh, that's a hand jack. 250 cargo space hand jack. But the casters are busted. I don't want to try to... Ooh, there's a map in the laundromat. There is a map in the laundromat. Right there. So that I have to get. Can't remember if there's a back door in the laundromat, though. Alright, gotta go to run mode. Stay ahead of these guys. Uh, I'm not sure I can get in and out of there before I get shocked. And I'm gonna burn my burn my stamina down and I'm gonna need it. Yeah, I could go through the window, but I'm still going to end up with two other shocks coming my way before I could get it and get back out again. I think I'm going to... I can't remember 100%. I think there's a door in the back, but <laughs> I'm not going to chance it on a maybe. I can't remember for certain. I'm going to keep moving back to the west and north. I'm going to move back this way, see if I can lose them, and then loop back around and grab this stuff. It's going to depend a lot on what other obnoxious things they throw at me out this direction. Car is currently running. Car is... no seat. Can't drive it. And it's almost out of gas. Alright, I am next to the antique store. You can sometimes get cool stuff in the antique store. Am I going to get to it and take a look before... Ouch! Is that a kukri? Cutlass. Again, can I get in and out? Shockers are pretty far back, but I've got to stop running. And he'll come right through that. There is a cutlass. Delp. Nope, rel it's a replica. I didn't see anything else. Start running again. Oh shit, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in big trouble. All because that guy jumped from this space to that space. I tried to move, he jumped ahead of me, I stepped into him, and then I am spent so much time sitting here, the poison guy went off, the shockers are here, <laughs> my stats are screwed, my pain is going up. Ugh. Yeah, now I might be dead. <laughs> uh, so do I step out? to the side and around or back into the building and try to get out. Um, I think I have to go straight out to here and then try to get up and around. If I try to come back in, two more shockers are coming. Yeah, this is just, this is probably going to be the end right here. Really step into the sparks. Yes, step into the sparks. Yes, step into the sparks. <laughs> Take the hits. Keep moving. 
Oh, looks like I got lucky. The other two are still hung up back here. But now, my danger is I'm going to run out of stamina, and my stats are low enough that I'm not going to be able to stay ahead of things. So that guy there is going to be the death of me. That feral hunter. Um, and I'm running into the city. <laughs> And I'm badly poisoned, of course. Well, running between the cars is my first thought, but I'm trying to make my mind up whether to go that way or to go that way. Because I've got the shockers, they're the danger still. I mean, that guy's bad. But he's heavily injured, so if I can land a lucky hit or two on him before these other guys catch up, I think I can still manage this. But i got to keep the shockers off of me, and if I move up this way, I'm worried they're going to tag me once or twice at my current slow speed. So I think, even though I don't know what's out this way, I think I have to go out this way. Currently in run mode. Rockers are still kind of hung up back there. If I go to walk mode, he jumped up next to me. Severely injured. Ah! God damn it! They're moving so much faster than I think they're going to. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get out of this. If that guy had died, if I'd gotten a critical and finished him, I think I'd be okay. But with him constantly jumping on me and ratcheting up my pain and my stats already dropping, I just don't see that I'm going to get out of this. I'll try, but two shockers in range. I cannot stop to swing at this guy. I got nowhere to hide. No convenient building I can jump into. Door that may be locked. Smoke zombie that way, coming towards me. If I try to go this way, I may end up on grass. No, actually, it'll go through. Youch. Youch, youch. Yeah, but it's almost impossible in my condition with this direction to lure these guys into turrets without me getting shot. <laughs> I'd have to already have a big enough movement advantage that uh, I wouldn't be in danger. I think I have to keep going west, and then I'm going to try to angle down this alleyway and just pray there's nothing in my way in between these buildings. God, that fucking feral hunter. I gotta slow to a walk. I gotta maintain just a tiny bit of stamina. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're gonna cut me over and over again. I'm waiting and hoping that the poison wears off and my stats recover a bit, because until that happens, they're keeping up with me, unfortunately. I can't move fast enough to get ahead of the uh, shock zombies. Now I've got a smoker who's also fast. If there's anybody in this hallway, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead, so... Uh, I can't get my breath back either. Let's try running. Just a short bit. Don't jump in front of me. He's going to jump in front of me, little bastard. I'm waiting for him to jump in front of me. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty much out of stamina, so this is pretty much where we're going to die, right here. Crap. Well, this has been a pretty suck map to begin with. <laughs> this has been one thing after another. Between this starting area, which totally reeked, Empty, 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 nothing useful, fungal, 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 run, run, run. So it's been a bit of a a rough run regardless, so I'm not going to be too sad if we die right here. You die. 
if, if nothing else happens, I want you dead. Alright, yay, it's dead. And apparently they're not chasing me as much because the smoke has confused them. <laughs> let's see, can I get my breath back before anything else shows up? First, let's take a painkiller. I have no painkillers. Um, yeah. I dropped more stuff, dropped my rifle and a bunch of my ammo because we lost another piece of clothing. Let's turn off the claws. Let's wield the rifle that's on the ground. Or do I go with a shotgun? No, I wield the rifle that's on the ground. Don't have quite enough for all of that. Can I grab 30? Nope. Can I grab 25? Yes. Alright, got most of my ammo. Still got 100 shot, plus what's in the uh, shotgun. 15 lying on the ground. Not bad. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to stand here until I see something start moving towards me down that hallway. If I can get my stamina back, and if that poison would go away, <laughs> I'd actually be able to get out of this. That smoke is saving my life right now. I'm not sure why the smoke zombies stopped coming. I'm up to two and a half bars. Yeah, I know my body pains me. I got no medicine to take care of that. I need two things to ah, smoke. I need two things to happen. Full stamina and poison effects gone. St stats have gone up a tiny bit. Now it's all pain. Minus 17% from pain. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to keep standing here until something steps up. don't want the smoke to actually get to me. I don't want smoke inhalation. <laughs> okay. My speed is 80 and it's cost me 80 to move. That should make me just faster than most of the generic zombies. Alright, I had to step out. The smoke was about to get to me. But I think I'm faster than them now. Uh, what to do? What to do? <laughs> Head back this way, try to get the map again. Yeah, I think that's my only real choice, because I've already dragged most of the zombies out from that area. So I should be just a touch faster than all of these things, even walking, which I am. Though so it's stuff in front of me that's the worry. Ah, crap. Shockers? Yep. Damn it. And they see me. Erg. They just don't want me to have that map. Yeah, the problem is I've got to be able to get into the doctor's office with enough speed maneuverability to loot it and get out without getting overwhelmed. <coughs> um, is that a bike or an electric bike? Standard bike. Does work. I'm not sure if I've got... I don't know how a bike would work with the rollerblades on and my stamina and my stats. I'm worried about how that would actually function. <laughs> Let's go to run mode. Shocker's moving yet. Thinking about it. Yeah, nope. Apparently didn't want to let me. I'm not sure what happened there. Foot pedals make a terrible clanking sound. Alright, so apparently it's not going to work. <laughs> Here comes the shocker. First of the shockers. Let's tie him up on the back of that vehicle. While I go south a little further. Alright, if I go... can't go that way without going across a bunch of ground. 
or I'd have to sprint through the grass between the buildings quite a ways. I don't think there's any way I'm going to get around this shocker or around this corner without the shocker getting me. I don't think I have a choice. Back to walk mode. Please still be hung up on the back of the car. Shock zombie. Alright, now run! He's gonna get me on the diagonal. Yep, got me on the diagonal. Hate diagonals in this game. Now I'm gonna get multiple shocked again. That lowered my speed. Ah, and there's another one in front of me. <laughs> this game is just fucking with me. Uh, uh, simple problem. Got screwed just trying to go into that one building and having that stupid thing jump in front of me and stopping me from moving while I was in the windowsill. And then getting shocked and poisoned. Everything was fine up until then. And I'm not too amused about the triple shockers. Or this would be the fourth shocker, actually. Uh, guy to my left is shocked, but he's going to get another shock off. Guy to my right is going to get a shock off as well. Yep. I don't think I'm going to get far enough... I'm not going to get far enough away to prevent the next shock from hitting me. Damn diagonals. Ah, oh, I did make it. Probably should have just burst fired his dumb ass right after he shot me. Shocked me. Alright. We're getting closer to the edge of town. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do when I get there. Uh, it's just a bite, it's not an infection. I've got medicine for all situations, so I'm not worried about it. Got antibiotics, I've got first aid kits, and I've got disinfectant, so no worries. It's not good because it's causing more pain and slowing me down, but uh, yeah, so the bite is having an effect, but it's not critical. The bigger pain is our problem is I, I'm running right into new areas and I'm not gaining enough ground to lose my pursuers. I need some better building and vehicles to block my uh, my way. Pawn shop with a house on the far side. And the building next to me is an electronics store. Remote control car, cameras. Uh-oh, vehicle's running. No controls. <laughs> Oh, Cataclysm, you so funny. My favorite security van. It's got wheels. Faulty red engine. Yeah, could work, but I don't think I'm going to take the chance. I need to keep getting range. And hope there's not more shocker zombies ahead of me. Alright, coming to a dead end road, unfortunately. <clears throat> Two houses. Hey, there's a school north of me. That's where I need to go. Good number of houses up that way. I have to decide right here whether I am going to check these two houses or back off that direction and go further into the city. Shocker, I think, is back in the hidden area back here. That's eh, an electric scooter. No wheels. Well, no front wheel. Um, if it wasn't for the shock zombie, I would stick around, but yeah, I can't afford to be in the area with these shockers. Where are you, shocker? 
Where are you? Way down there. You got sight on me? He does not have sight on me currently. Hmm. The trouble is I could just keep running into more and more more and more shockers. Plus, I have to keep going west in order to get to this other crossroad and then go north to get to this housing area. Or, I guess theoretically I could get up to the school here and then cut across if I had the stamina. I don't want to try that. How are you, vehicle? We'll just keep checking vehicles. No gas. Everything but the one thing I need each time. Shock zombie still does not have me in sight, so I need to stop running. So, a bunch of zombies here. I am on the back side of this building. If I go in this door and then go out this side... No. Let's go this way. Shock the shock. Same guy. Hello, Brute. Ah, uh, this is not good. Brute's gonna catch me and punch me into the wall. <laughs> Don't grab me. I just know I'm going to run into uh, more shockers or a shocker brood or something in front of me. Alright, which road do I want to take? Do I keep going or do I go north here? I think I go to the next intersection if I can manage it. No gas. And a shock zombie. No controls. I just cannot win. Pain is still up there. Torso's mangled. Gonna get shocked again. Pain's gonna go up. Speed's gonna go down. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm starting to lose these foot races already. So this shocker is definitely gonna hit me. And I'm moving right into poison, smoke, acid, and soldier. Ouch! Hey, I'm back to where I started. <laughs> I've, I've ran a loop. This is where I got screwed before. <laughs> oh, cataclysm. I'm gonna get acid puked. Oh, the feral hunter's back. He'll catch up with me here any second. Soon as, yep, as soon as I went to walk mode. And he jumps in front of me to block my movement. <laughs> uh. I swear. Alright, do I run up my favorite alley? I want to work my way back up and then get back onto this road going north. Do I take the chance? So looking clear, looking clear. I'm going for it. Come here, you. Full burst. Actually, if I full burst, I'm going to blow half of the ammo I've got for this thing. Um, do it. Fire. At least he went down. Alright, everybody knows where I'm at now. Shocker brute! <laughs> I knew I'd find one eventually. Uh, and I just shot a gun in burst mode. <laughs> 
Uh, I can't believe we're still alive, but I don't think I'm going to get out of this city. I just don't see it happening. Well, I got to keep running. I'm assuming the Shocker Brute saw me. It's raining. He might not have. No, nope, looks like he didn't. All right. Go to a walk. Only got a couple things coming after me that I know about. Can I get into some kind of useful building? Ideally, I'd like to get into the a house at the end of one of these blocks. No wheels. Uh oh. The hearse has got gas. It's running. Well, I can drive the hearse. It's already running. I'm in run mode. I'm in walk mode. Run mode. Take control. <laughs> We're driving. Uh... <clears throat> How much do I got? 1.3 liters of gas. I need to get to where? Oh, man. Originally, I was going to plan on going north. I don't know if I can get to the north <laughs> with the gas I've got. Oh, man, the security van's running, too. You got tires? No? No. All right. How can I best make use of this hearse to get myself to a safe spot? Um, 